Hofstede's Cultural Dimensions Theory A framework for cross-cultural communication, developed by Hert Hofstede is called Hofstede's Cultural Dimensions Theory, which refers to the effects of a society's culture on the values of its members, and how those values link with behavior, using a structure resulting from factor analysis. In between 1967 and 1973, Professor Hert Hofstede developed his original model as a result of using factor analysis to inspect the results of a worldwide survey of employee values by IBM. It has been refined since. The original theory suggested four dimensions along which cultural values could be analyzed, individualism collectivism, uncertainty avoidance, power distance, strength of social hierarchy, and masculinity femininity, task orientation versus person orientation. Independent research in Hong Kong led Hofstede to add a fifth dimension, long-term orientation, to cover aspects of values not discussed in the original paradigm. In 2010, Hofstede added a sixth dimension, indulgence versus self-restraint. The theory has been extensively used in several fields as a paradigm for research, particularly in cross-cultural psychology, international management, and cross-cultural communication. It remains to be a major resource in cross-cultural fields. It has inspired a number of other major cross-cultural studies of values, as well as research on other aspects of culture, such as social beliefs. What are the six dimensions of Hofstede's cultural dimensions theory? 1. PDI, Power Distance Index. 2. IDV, Individualism versus Collectivism. 3. UAI. Uncertainty Avoidance Index. 4. MAS, Masculinity versus Femininity. 5. LTO, Long Term Orientation versus Short Term Orientation. 6. IND Indulgence versus Restraint. The description of the theory is as below. PDI, Power Distance Index. The power distance index is defined as the extent to which the less powerful members of organizations and institutions, such as the family, admit and assume that power is distributed unequally. In this dimension, inequality and power are perceived from the followers, or the lower level. A higher degree of the index point out that hierarchy is clearly created and executed in society, without doubt, or reason. A lower degree of the index signifies that people question authority and attempt to allocate power. IDV, Individualism versus Collectivism. This index explores the degree to which people in a society are combined into groups. Individualistic societies have loose ties that often only relate an individual to his or her immediate family. They give emphasis to the I versus the we, its counterpart, collectivism describes a society in which tightly integrated relationships tie extended families and others into in-groups. These in-groups are laced with undoubted loyalty and support each other when a conflict arises with another in-group. UAI, Uncertainty Avoidance Index The Uncertainty Avoidance Index is defined as a society's tolerance for ambiguity, in which people embrace or prevent an event of something unexpected, unknown or away from the status quo. Societies that score a high degree in this index opt for stiff codes of behavior, guidelines, laws, and generally rely on absolute truth, or the belief that one lone truth dictates everything and people know what it is. A lower degree in this index shows more acceptances of opposing thoughts or ideas. Society tends to enforce fewer regulations, ambiguity is more accustomed to, and the environment is more free-flowing. MAS, Masculinity versus Femininity. In this dimension, masculinity is defined as a preference in society for achievement, heroism, assertiveness and material rewards for success. Its counterpart represents a preference for cooperation, modesty, caring for the weak and quality of life. Women in the respective societies tend to display different values. In feminine societies, they share modest and caring views equally with men. In more masculine societies, women are more emphatic and competitive, but notably less emphatic than the men. 
In other words, they still recognize a gap between male and female values. This dimension is frequently viewed as taboo in highly masculine societies. LTO, long-term orientation versus short-term orientation. This dimension allies the connection of the past with current and future actions or challenges. A lower degree of this index, short-term, indicates that traditions are honored and kept, while steadfastness is valued. Societies with a high degree in this index, long-term, views adaptation and circumstantial, pragmatic problem-solving as a necessity. A poor country that is short-term oriented usually has little to do economic development, while long-term oriented countries continue to develop to a point. IND indulgence versus restraint. This dimension is principally a measure of happiness, whether or not simple joys are fulfilled. Indulgence is defined as a society that permits relatively free gratification of basic and natural human desires related to enjoying life and having fun. Its counterpart is defined as a society that controls gratification of needs and regulates it by means of strict social norms.